Blow up now. US mail? Postman's left his letters behind, by the looks of it. Can I read any of these? No? Yes, lockbox. There's letters in the lockbox? These must be important letters, seeing as there's letters everywhere else littered around here. Ginseng Alexa, don't really need that. How many are there? Oh my god. Henrietta Douglas. Do I know any of these people sent Denise Times? Can I open these? Can I open people's letters? Can I be nosy busy body? I can. There's five letters. Oh, fuck me. Okay. William Errington. A stern letter from an exasperated father. Can I deliver them to these people, maybe? Dear William, how I grieve to find myself to write to your address on this letter. Not so long ago, I would have transcribed your residence at the finest college in the finest university in all of England. Now, well, what is this preposterous place? I am ashamed even to write its silly little name. Your gushing correspondence has not moved me so much as an inch. You write of great skies, beautiful lands, hard-working fellow citizens, and your own firm resolve. Had not England skies? Is the land of your birth not also beautiful? If you were lacking in hard work, I could have remedied your predicament quite easily, and done so without sundering our family in this appalling way. Your mother still believes you are a tour in Italy. If you do not reply to this letter with assurances that you intend to come back, I shall tell her your return ship was lost at sea with all hands. That son is my own firm resolve. Do not test it. Your loving father. So instead of his son living in St. Denis, he would rather tell his wife that William perished at sea. What? <laughs> Maybe he's one of those like British people who is very much against the American independence war, right? When was that? Is that, is that war any close to this? I don't think so, right? I think the civil war happened before, uh, after that, right? See, I don't get taught this at school. I have no idea when it is. We have so many countries right who have their independence day like america is no more special than anyone else i have no idea when that war was but maybe this is like a an aggrieved british man right who doesn't want his son living in america i guess can i deliver these letters i mean that's in saint denis i have no idea where that house would be though letter to the saint denis times dear sir it has come to my attention that the habit of writing letters to newspapers has completely consumed my life all I do, all day, is think about what I am going to say that is witty, pithy, and will impress people I do not know. I never used to care about being pithy. Is that a word? Am I saying that right? What the hell is pithy? Now it is consuming my life. My once successful career as a fertiliser salesman is now but a distant memory. My life is now dominated by what others think of me. My vanity, pride, and self-absorption have become everything to me, yet I never used to be this way. On the eve of a new century, I pray that mankind will emerge fresh in a better world, one less consumed by the poses, pretensions and images that have obsessed him in the 19th century. I have many hopes for our species, but few for myself. Please destroy any future letters I send you without opening them. I'm turning over a new leaf. Life as a seller of chemical fertilizer is far more fulfilling than this shadow life as a man who exists merely through the eyes of others. Yours faithfully, Dorian Weathersby, Esquire. P.S. I note that in your last issue you misspelt my name. So is this like an angry old man who writes letters to newspapers? And were they like just printing them? Why? What else we got here? Letter to Henrietta Douglas? A letter about the Whitehorn Hotel fire? Miss Douglas, it is with great sadness I write to inform you of the death of your husband. You may have read in the newspaper about the tragic fire that occurred at the Whitehorn Hotel here. As residents gathered to watch the St. Ignatius' Day Parade, a few people began to cry out as smoke emerged from windows on the second floor of the hotel. Within 30 minutes, the entire building was engulfed in flames, and those on the upper floors were trapped. Your husband's body was recovered the next day amidst the rubble. We are working with the local coroner to prepare his body for shipment to you. Please write back at this address on the envelope. Jacob Sears. What is the point in these letters, mate? Letter to Judge Finley, a letter about a missing trial. Dear Sir, Your Honour, you will pardon me for addressing you, however I am very ill, so much so that I am not in a condition to attend my trial. If it would please Your Honour, I'd like you to send me to the poor farm or send me my release. I am the unfortunate victim of the morphine habit. Judge Your Honour, you have discharged me on more than one occasion, but doing so have exhibited great kindness. If you do so again, I promise I'll go away and be a good girl in the future. Yeah, bullshit. Person's calling in sicky to the trial. Just doesn't want to be sent to prison. Where's the evidence, huh? Where's your doctor's note? Letter to Miriam Wegner. Letter from a loving cousin. Hmm. This could go 
one of two ways. My dearest Miriam, I decided that I would write to you again because even though our world seems so far apart these days, I think of you often. Okay, it's gone one way, sure. New York is crowded and dirty, but so alive. It feels like anything is possible, even for a country girl like me. And my biggest news is that I have been cast in a Henrik Ibsen play. It is a small role, but now I can finally call myself a Broadway actress. Sometimes I do miss home, though, the peace and the clean air, being able to take a ride at first light. I received a letter from Lily Millet. Lily Millet. I recognise that name. A while back, and it appears that she has experienced some financial difficulties. I think this may have been someone I collected a debt from, right? Is this the person that was at Emerald Ranch, right? And I beat up her, like, boyfriend who threw sand in my face. I think it's that person, right? She was always very sensible with money, so I'm worried that Weasel Cooper, yeah, that's the guy, has his claws in her again. She also mentioned that she has not seen you leave the house in months. I cannot even begin to imagine how painful it must have been for you to lose Joshua in such a horrible way, and I would never assume to instruct you how to grieve, but I worry about you existing in such isolation. This must be the sixth letter I have sent to you with no response. Please let me know that you are alright, even if it is just the shortest of notes to tell me to mind my own business. You can tell me anything. Your loving cousin, Annabelle. Okay, maybe it went the other way with cousins, right? You can think of somebody without cousins being romantically involved. This is the South, right? Sometimes you think maybe they are. Although we sort of mix and match a little bit, don't we, where we are in this map. Sometimes it's not the South. Is Emerald Ranch more like mid-US geography? I don't know. I don't know where the place is meant to be. Your loving cousin, Annabelle. P.S. Uncle Eugene, with the greatest respect, if you are withholding my mouth from Miriam, or dare I say constraining her in any other way, I beg you to reconsider your actions. I know how much you love her, but please do not confuse love with possession. She is a beautiful, intelligent woman with so much life ahead of her. Can I deliver this letter to her? I assume she's still in Emerald Ranch, right? I'm going to like look up, see if I can do anything with these letters. No, it doesn't appear to be something we can follow up on and rather just sort of some short stories about the world and stuff. Interestingly, it sounded like the Lily Millet debt, the reason why she took out a loan was for this person being trapped in a house who was grieving over Joshua. If out of any of those letters, seems like maybe there could be something there to follow up on, maybe? Don't know any of the other people, right? Easy. Maybe we could pop over to Emerald yep. Ranch, see if there's anything there. But it, it sort of just seems like maybe it's just a bit of backstory, right? From Lily Millet, I think. It's sad that there was no DLC added to this game, right? Because there is sort of some things they could sort of make from items that they've already added, right? Like those letters and newspaper articles, right? I know some things you don't technically need to because it adds to world building stuff, but there is already sort of mysteries and things linked in the game already, right? Which they could develop things onto without sort of making something completely new, but that's never gonna happen, right? Okay, there should be a little cigarette card in this lodge. Is it a lodge? Looks like it's sort of been snowed in a little bit, doesn't it? Like a massive house underneath, right? And it's just like the entrance. Knock, knock. Anyone home? No? God, no one could live in here, right? Freeze to death. Where is it? I think it is the completion of a set. Which is exciting. There it is. It's the world champion set. That should be the last one. Nice. It's like a note. What is this? Grave newspaper clipping. Talented ice skater's career cut short in terrible accident. Oh, okay. How did they die? From uh, the snow? Avalanche, maybe? There is like a lake outside, right? I guess that's where they practiced. As I said last episode, I was going to come up to the north of the snow. Hopefully we can whack all that out in this episode because I don't think there's a huge amount to discover. I think there is actually a grave over here of the ice skater. Yeah, it looks like someone might have dug it up actually, doesn't it? Poor guy. It's like the stone has been defaced too. It had like graffiti on it. Oh, it's just a picture. Okay. Looks like they're missing a leg. Does this say something? No ice in hell. You've entered legendary animal territory. This is the legendary bison. And unlike 
the ones I've been sort of entering recently, right, where I'm not wanting to kill them. I am going to kill this one because the talisman for it is very good. <laughs> Sorry, Bison. <laughs> but I'm being a bit selfish for once. It has 10% decrease on the stamina deduction, so I'll be able to run and swim longer. And I mean, don't all the bison go instinct anyway, so I'm sort of just contributing to history, aren't I? Like, what's the point in letting it live? <laughs> like, it seems a selfish thing to do as a dying man, doesn't it? <laughs> but there's, there's still plenty of chapter left, right? I would like to have a bit more stamina. Like, unlike the others, I didn't think it was really needed, right? Sort of like, did it, was it the degradation of weapons? Was it the beaver one and... Um, more money, was it, for the walls? Those two things I don't care about, but stamina is quite important. And I've also already found... What am I doing? I've forgotten how to track. I'm going the wrong way. Also found part of the crafting materials already for this bison, right? It was in Rhodes. That house, right? I found, like, some sort of jewel. I'm going to need silver earrings, too, but I think I already have those, right? I think I've sold silver earrings. Let's take a raffle with us, please. Bow action. Must be near. Yeah. Which direction? Oh, there it is. Sorry, mate. Don't turn your back on me. Come on. Get a killing shot. Get out of the tree. I guess that's his head, is it? He's got a beefy head. He has a beefy head. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm torturing it. <laughs> okay, maybe use that and then I can get a clean kill for the heart. No? Oh, I just, I, I'm so sorry. I need to have better bullets, I think. They're not penetrating his skin. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he going to charge? Oh, it's... oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, mate. I really am. But I, I want the stamina reduction talisman. You see what I mean about those legendary animals, though? Like... It feels terrible, doesn't it? I, sp I suppose it portrays hunting very well, right? I imagine I'd feel the same way with hunting in real life, right? And just like, why? Whoa. Why are you doing that? These animals are just like living their life. There's actually something here too that's meant to be crafted for the boar thing. I think, did I kill the boar? I did kill the boar, right? Yeah. It's like early on ages ago. It's like some petrified wood. I can't remember what that does. The boar talisman, but I can craft that to a defense with this, I guess. Looks like someone's living in this shack, though. Unlike the ice skating one. Looks like there is a fire going. Anybody home? Actually, looks like someone's gone walking recently. It's got some tracks. Isn't it? Stranger? Okay, maybe someone is out hunting. Can I rob them while they're out? Premium cigarette cards, nice. Okay, nothing else in there. So we're, whose tracks are these? Can we follow them? Looks like they're going up a hill, going quite far. Billy, can you follow me, please? Is it leading to that on the end of the cliff? I think it is. Okay, yeah, I've seen this before. I didn't realise it was related to that house. Yeah, some frozen guy up here, right? Sort of like Shining style, I think. I don't know if that's meant to be a reference to that. I don't need the carbine repeater though, thank you. Can I like study this guy or something? No. Go. Okay. <laughs> I don't want this. There is actually another trinket here somewhere. Where's the waterfall? Is this the waterfall? No, oh, if it's further right, right, it's just a little mini one, right? I think it's I think it's there through the frozen one. It's a trinket which helps decrease the degradation effect by the stamina of drawing a bow, pretty much like the ancient arrowhead. Yeah, as I said, I don't really use the bow much, but I might as well grab it, right? You'd think they would stack nicely together, right? The arrowhead and this trinket. I guess it's in this lock box, is it? Yeah. Hawk Talon Trinket, and I guess it's from whatever the fuck this is. Is this a, meant to be a bird? What is that? Anything else here? No? Okay. There's a lot of just sort of 
points of interest, really, isn't there, in this snow? Not a huge amount of sort of encounters, is there? Well, there's none, really. It's a bit dead, which I guess you would expect. It's a bit uninhabitable. And the people that have decided to, like, move up here have died, right? Think of, like, Sadie Adler as well, right? Oh, come on! Oh, don't be daft. I could have crossed that, couldn't I? I guess it is flowing quite quickly. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. Although, you know, we're not falling over, so... Why couldn't we cross? Probably that's strong. Only, it's only when I get on it. Please don't. Please, please don't. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, can we, can we go up where we came from? Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. I thought yeah. you have to go off the waterfall. <laughs> See, like this. This is another point of interest, right? This is what's going to happen to the bisons. They're going to go extinct like this mammoth. Inspect the bones. Draw in your bookie book, Arthur. See all the sights of the snow. The robot, I think, is actually nearby. Looking at the map. I think I've just found where it is. Where is that lantern? Where is that lantern? We can sort of just follow it from where we are, I think. It's not too far away. Yeah, it's this way. Okay, cool. Okay, fella. Let's go say hello to the murderous robot. Hopefully it's like frozen, right? I don't actually know if it's still alive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, I think that's there, right? Yeah. Looks like there's something sitting over there. Okay. So, uh, Let's get off. I don't actually know if it's like still functional. I guess it's always been frozen, right? Like the man who was sitting there with his carbine. No. I think it's still awake. Hello? Papa. Papa. No, not Papa. Uncle. Uncle. No, Uncle. It's Uncle Arthur. No, it's Uncle. I can't do anything. No? Get the lantern out. Do I have the lantern on me still? Any interaction with this? Look, do you want this lantern? No? No, it's not Papa. You're, but you killed your Papa. Let's get a selfie. That sounded more and more ominous. <laughs> Why can't I take a selfie? Okay. See, see, look, there, you're standing in the way of the subject matter, Arthur. Don't push me, robot. Okay. Please. 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 Oh, come on. Is that good? Eh, I'd rather it be face on, but sure. What expressions have we got? No, pose? Can we, like, point to it? No. I mean, it's a bit cold. It's very sassy. No. Smoke? No. Crouch? No. I mean, that's just turning your back to the camera. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a bit cold, sure. Expression? Stop, stop, get your finger out of your ear. I can't see the expressions on your face. Zoom? Wait, what are you doing? I guess a smile. Uh, how can I zoom out? There you go. Sure. It seems like it's sort of malfunctioning, really, doesn't it? Can I lasso it and take it to a warmer climate? Nope. Okay. As you are damaged, and the only guy who was alive could repair you, I feel like maybe I should mercy kill you. Is he dead? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the right thing to do, right? Especially as it's been proven to be a man-killing machine, right? That's probably the right thing to do anyway, to be honest, rather than taking it back somewhere warm and getting him fixed. Hey, back Whoa. in Coulter... I think we actually buried Davy Callender here somewhere. Remember the guy who died at the beginning of the game? Um, is it this? Is that a cross? No, I think he's here somewhere, I think. He should be. He's marked on my map to be. Oh, it's here. Okay. Yeah, Davy Callender. Okay. 
Again, uh, we just sort of just take a moment of silence, don't we? We don't say anything. I wish she just said something, right? I, I know, I guess, like, you go to a grave, right? You pay your specs, you can just sort of stand there and be silent, but it's a game. <laughs> just, just say something. I think uh, the other person who died too is a bit further up. Uh, Jenny, right? The girl that Lenny fancied. Not quite sure why she was buried up here and Davy was buried down there. I guess didn't have as much time. Because I guess, did we bring Jenny's body with us? Yeah. This was like the area I tried like going out of, right? Of camp when my horse died. It was this way. It was actually where I was going to go to try and explore because there was something up here. I think further on is like a mission, right? I think where the... Is it where the Odriscoll's were? I don't know. But the grave is somewhere here. There it is. Slow it up. Yeah, Jenny Kirk. This is going third person since we do anything. No, just pay my respects silently, which is fine. You can see why I sort of just put the snowy stuff on back burner, right? Because it is pretty empty. Why is there a cross here? What's this? Random encounter. Hello? 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 What is this? What is this? My map doesn't tell me there should be something here. What is this? What the fuck is this? Oh no, this is what I was heading to. I just had it in the wrong place. A couple of more morons who are frozen in the snow. Thank you for your map. What were you doing out here? Panoramic map. Not quite sure what that is meant to be. Some sort of place on top of a cliff, I think. Don't quite know what I'm meant to do with that. Thank you, though. Uh, in regards to Jenny's death, actually, I think, didn't somebody say that... Wasn't it Hosea in, like, Chapter 2 said they should take somebody up there to bury her? Or was it in Chapter 1? Someone actually did say that, right? So I guess someone did that, right? To come up here and bury her there. That's why she was buried in a different place than Davy, right? There's a lot of theories, right, of who the main protagonist will be in Red Dead 3. I think it will go back and it will be... Um, Calendar, right? Mac Calendar. I think it will be him. Uh, some people will say, well, we already know how he dies, right? Well, we only know what Milton said happened, which could be a lie, right? Don't actually know what happened. Haven't seen him die, right? So I think it could be interesting, right, to go a bit further back and play as Mac and then, you know, a younger Arthur and an even younger John, right? I think it'd be pretty cool. So this is the Adler Ranch that burnt down. I think it's only really some loot to grab here, right? I think it's in this lockbox here. I thought it'd be quite interesting to come here and see what it looked like now. I've never returned here before. But yeah, that's it really. In the snow, I think. At least this far north. Start making our way back. Might be a couple of other things, but yeah. Not much really, is there? Get back. No! See, I understand more about being attacked by wolves. Well, no, I don't. Look, look, there's prey there. Why didn't they go after that? It makes no sense to go after me. It doesn't. It makes no sense. I was about to say it makes more sense because it's more barren, right? And there's less prey, but there isn't. Tucker! Oh! Tucker! Where are you, Tucker? Hey! You there! Stop a minute, please! What do you want? I'm looking for my friend. We was in the cabin, and he went out to get firewood, but he got lost in the storm. Which storm? I'm getting real worried, mister. I was searched everywhere. Would you help me look for him? I can, but there's not been any storm. I've been up here for a while. All right. Guess so. Where are we looking? You're a good man. Bless you. I I'm going to keep looking around the cabin. That's where I last saw him. If, if you could search the wider perimeter, I'd really appreciate it. Tucker! Tucker! Okay, so there is actually some random encounters here. Shout if you can hear me! I mean, maybe the wolves got him, right? And that's why they came after me, because they had a uh, taste for the man flesh. Christ, he can't be out here this long. Is this him here? It's not a frozen body, is it? No, that's a deer. <laughs> oh, there is a track. Okay. Uh, it's leading that way. Turn around, Arthur. Oh no, there is a frozen body there. What is he laying on? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> He's hovering in midair. What's he stuck on? <laughs> what the fuck? Inform like his friend that he's been possessed in death. What? Probably steer him away from coming up here. Yeah. 
scared the shit out of him, right? I mean, mate, he really isn't that far. You have not looked that far, have you? Hey, so find anything? We could mislead him. Oh. No, he should know. He should know. Yeah. He's up the hill a ways over on a rock. Listen, friend. <clears throat> you might not want to see him. Oh, Tucker? Oh, God. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. I mean, I guess mislead would have been just lying, like, as a joke, I guess. I was thinking of it as more of a way of, like, a white liar. But I think it is better he would know. Oh my god, it sounds like there's like a bear attack going on over there. And that was where the hunter's dead friend was. <laughs> Is that how he died? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh... Is he already dead? Get out of here, bear. I think I was too late. Shit, I should have misled him. Okay, the bear's down. Yep. Let's mercy kill it. Easy. Sorry, bear. Oh, I'm gonna shoot my horse in the head, I think. But, uh, like, once again, there's no need to kill a person there, was there? There's plenty of prey around here. I should have rode out of this guy, shouldn't I? I didn't think maybe something like a bear killed his friend. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Okay. Let's find a... post office, I guess, for the cards. And then I need a trapper and a fence. Trapper down here, isn't there? We got that guy. I mean, where, where are the fences though? The fences aren't anywhere close. Oh, that's why an emerald ranch. We go to emerald ranch, and then uh, a trapper. It's by camp, isn't there? Okay, we we will travel to emerald ranch. Go to the post office there. Do the fence, then we go. Up to the trap, and then we go to camp and do um, this quest for Chaloni. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's start with the trapper. Or the fence, I should say. Craft the trinkets I got. And also sell any other crap I have. Hmm. Been a while since you were through here. Uh huh. Uh huh. I can't craft. Oh, I'm missing a silver earring. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. And that for the boar tusk, I'm missing a gold earring. Okay, I need some gold earrings and silver earrings. Oh shit, okay. Now, one of the other reasons why it's quite handy for me coming here right now is there is actually a grave here too. That one over there in between those houses. It's to do with the letter we read at the start, right? This is Joshua. And was it Miriam, her name was, right? He won't leave her house. And um, Lily Millet, I think, got money for her. Yeah, Joshua Burgess accidentally shot. And uh, I guess Miriam is like, if she's still alive, hiding in one of these houses. I guess not this one, this is the saloon, right? There's a lot of blood in here, actually. So the information I can gather from online is that okay, sir. Uh, Joshua died in there. That blood is actually his. I'm not quite sure how you meant to sort of find that out. Okay. Post office, please. And actually, you know what? I may actually just dump this um, pelt because it will get taken automatically to the trapper, right? Because there's no other reason for me to go to the trapper. I'm just going to leave it here. Now I can go straight to camp and talk to Trelawney instead. Let's just send these cards. I'll take anything you got for me. Yeah, cigarette cards. And what else have I got here? Rock, uh, rock carving. Yeah, I'll make sure it okay. goes out soon. Thank you. Thanks, partner. Won't even sit next to me no more. I'm not here for sitting. Evening. Here for Trelawney. All right, mate. Just right. I um I was uh. Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. You should. 
I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. You know that won't happen. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. Go be with your family. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Ciao. I'll miss him. I like Trelawney. Him and Jose were sort of a similar cut of cloth, right? Con men. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Of course. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got. I've saved your life. Why would I say no? Do it for me. I've helped them enough as it is. Sure, come on. Why is now this too much? You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. I don't get that. Makes no sense to me. We would say no, or be like um, against doing it after helping them get vaccines and stuff. Time to go, boy. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Actually, I'm a bit concerned that the guy who I stole the vaccines from will recognize me there if he is there, right? The one I left alive, because there were two. It's a problem, right? Being honourable, it always leads to being recognised later, right? Better to leave no witnesses, in my opinion. <laughs> Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Whoa. Hello, guys. How you doing? Easy. We chance to kill now. Kola with Yampi. Hilpo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Oh, I'm a bit cold. Change. Forgot you guys live up close by the mountains. It will actually be winter soon. Too. Back with more snow. It seems to come around quick, doesn't it? I guess we missed a month, right? Because we were in Guam. Yeah, we would have had longer in spring. Right, we missed spring, but Guam only lasts about three hours and each season lasts ten hours, so we missed about seven hours worth of spring. So I guess that's why it seems a bit quicker. Colonel Favors. Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. 
Listen, Mr. Uh... Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Why not? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. Can't go into first person. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties. Excuse me. We've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Sorry. Are you okay, man? Someone. Ugh. Jackson, take him away. Spray it everywhere. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being <laughs> facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal I'm dying. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. I think there's something I can do here, right? Then I'll find out some spicy information. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. Yeah, I like him too. Let's tell him. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. Where's my water? The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Did I ask for water? I think I might have refused, actually. Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Unlike the the cop at the prison, Think let's take him with us. Going. How can I push him away? I'll kill you. Get out of here. Don't do it. Should have shot him. Bastard. You're lucky I missed. Are they chasing us? Are we free to go? Come on, guys. Hurry, hurry up. They might be getting on their horses right now. Okay. I can't shoot at these men. Yeah, but we can. Yep. It's no loss of honor. I don't know what that guy was doing. Just trying to ride up next to me to be friends. Man, please hold your fire. I guess he's talking to the army, right? One row. He's not telling us to hold fire. Surely. Could actually do with some more express bullets, I think. Get a bit low. It lasted a long time, didn't they? I think one of my mods might be. Oh shit. 
Oh, but I'm still on my horse, guys. Do you want to get on mine? Right, bitch. There's still one there as well, too, right? No? Yeah. Come on, Captain. Can you shoot? I can't do it. They're trying to kill you. I saw a behind us. Damn. Should have brought Lancaster with me. We shoot the army, and then we run away. Oh, didn't mean to hide there. Not bad spot, actually. There's plenty of horses around, surely, to get out of here, right? The one guy behind the wagon. Sorry, I was gonna rush that guy, but I think he's actually bleeding out, right? Yeah. Now or never. Let's go! Captain Monroe, you're with me! Yep, my horse is still good. Yeah, and Charles is. Yeah, I thought so. Hop on, Captain! We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on, follow me. I'm a coming. Yep. We got more coming in. Got no range with this. Oh, I'm on my horse now. I should swap. Right. <laughs> Still using that. Fuck. Oh. Oh, did Charles die? Did he? Did he? Really? Charles died? Oh, wow. I doubled, like, the friendly NPC health. I never thought that would happen anymore. He must have got, like, headshotted or something, right? They're actually in front of us. Oh. Oh, what happened that time? One row died. Are these guys, like, one-shotted these guys in the head? What's going on? Come on! That was a fucking good shot as well, mate. They somehow missed my head and got his. Yeah, you're okay though, Charles, are you? You look quite injured. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Hold. Okay, back at Emerald Ranch. Lucky boy, there's a train here already. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Have some money. That's all I'm doing lately, giving people money. Here you go. Here's some money. I bet it's like $50. You take it and get out of here and <laughs> start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. <laughs> Where? Forget about it. Goodbye. Maybe get a change of clothes. Meet you back at camp. Uh huh. See you later, Charles. Mr. Morgan. Ah, oh, hello. Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Oh. oh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> Was she the nun from Red Dead One? <laughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. 
beaten a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. And it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. Oh, I'm gonna cry. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Bless his face. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I've seen this in four years, this cutscene. I shall try. I know you will. Be sad. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. When I got last time, it was with Reverend Swanson. And you don't feel sorry for him at all in that cutscene. Okay, $40 to Monroe. Such a cheapskate. <laughs> So that's when I thought we talked about our son and wife, but we actually talk more with Reigns 4 about it, right? We sort of only talk about it generally there. You know, it's sort of the first time we really see Arthur be so vulnerable there, right? It's very sad. This chapter is just so sad. And now we're actually going to do some more things we will regret, right? We had some good missions there of helping people out, doing good stuff. And now we're just going to be working with a couple of wankers next, right? Micah and Dutch. Fun times. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.